I'm Nash Kelly. I'm a senior from Mount Michael. And the title of my piece is Abby Means Abandonment. <clears throat> it hurts the most the first time. Hey, Abby, I just got up and, oh, you're asleep, lying there, curled up, pure serenity in one spot. Serenity. That only comes out when you're asleep. When awake, you'll be rambunctious and free-willed, doing whatever you want. It makes me wonder why you became a part of my life. I mean, you could have left me alone, but you kept me company. When everyone else left me, we became inseparable. And I rely on you for everything, from being my friend when I have none to having my back through everything I do. The only certainty in life is you, Abby, and I hate you because you've trapped me in this box with no escape and every time life gets good, you put me back into this box reminding me of my eternal loneliness with each painful stab in my back. The blade of realization is the sharpest, my friends. And whenever I look in a mirror, all I see are these brutal cuts, 18 by my count. It hurts the most the first time. Or maybe it's the first friends that hurt the most. That's the most painful cut. And I remember before it was there. I mean, you weren't really around much. And I was enjoying the life of bliss, untouchable, surrounded by love. But I ruined that. I was an idiot. I let my guard down. I spilled my heart. I fell in love. And I broke everything that I held dear. It's my fault we stopped talking. My fault I was left alone. My fault that you came back and twisted your blade and I was left scarred, beaten. But only you saw that, Abby. Only you would understand how I wanted to be six feet under instead of having you back. You who encouraged me, encouraged me to live my life alone, encouraged me to drink because reality is too hard sober, encouraged me to starve myself because I didn't deserve food, en encouraged me to trust you love you and I went with it because you're the only person who I can trust who I can love because well you aren't going to leave me even though you aren't going to wake up because you aren't even real but I'm too hopeful to think otherwise so I'll wait I'll wait for you to be Real, I'll wait for you to remove your knife, wait for you to heal my scars, wait for our friendship to be real, and wait for me to be happy because I can trust you, love you, Abby. Woo!